Janome. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Janome Sewing Studio. Today I'm going to be reviewing and going over one of the machines that gets a little lost in the Janome lineup, and that's the Janome 9850. I really love this machine because of its size. This is what I call an intermediate size. So it's not quite the full 11 inch bed, but it's not the small six inch bed for a travel machine. So this is a really nice eight and a half inch bed space to the machine. And that's why I love this size. Um, if you are an advanced sewer and you're taking a lot of classes, when you go to that really small travel classroom machine, it's easy to outgrow that. And I'm one of those that have reached that point. So this gives me a little bit of a larger throat space, a little bit of a taller throat space, and a lot more lighting than a travel machine. But this could also be your main standalone only machine. It is powerful enough, it is large enough to be your one and only or to be the one that you bring to classes with you. The 9850, outside of that intermediate size, it is also a combination machine. And here's what I mean by that. I have an embroidery unit attached to the back of the machine that I can also do machine embroidery on this machine. So this is great for people that do take sewing classes, quilting classes, embroidery classes. This will have you covered for all of your sewing and embroidery needs. So I love that. And it is still portable enough where I could bring it with me. If you have a full-size combination embroidery and sewing machine, you know those can be 40 pounds or more. So this is coming in at the high 20 uh, point in weight, and this is a lot easier to carry around and bring to those classes. Now I mentioned that this is a sewing and embroidery machine, so I am going to be showing you the two hoops that come with the machine. This one is a square 14A, and this is a five and a half by five and a half inch hoop. I really get a lot of use out of this one. It seems to cover a lot of my projects, but that is not the largest hoop that is offered. The largest hoop is the RE20A, and this one is 6.7 by 7.9 inches. So you get a really nice big hoop area with the Memorycraft 9850. And as we're talking about embroidery, I want to show you just how easy it is to go from sewing into embroidery. So on the machine itself, I have a toggle button that once I touch that button, I get a message. Open your carriage arm and with a press of a button, I am ready to go into embroidery mode. And I love that that hoop is behind me. It gives me plenty of room on the right and left to do all of my projects. I am going to show you just how easily that attaches. And look at that. I am all ready to go into embroidery. So I really like the setup of this machine. It makes it really easy to go to all of my projects that I may want to do. And I also like the fact that I don't need to remove my arm when I go into sewing. I use that as extra support and extra depth to my bed of the machine, making it really easy and really convenient. 
Now for all of my sewing and crafting needs, the machine does come with nine feet and I am just going to show you those nine feet that you do get. So I get that beautiful uh, buttonhole foot that has this stabilizer plate, allowing me to work on both very thick fabrics and very thin fabrics because it helps stabilize that fabric when I'm doing that buttonhole. My quarter inch sewing foot for all of my quilting, and I, I happen to use that quarter inch foot for a lot of crafting and a lot of garment sewing as well, to be able to do top stitching and, and um, just get a beautiful, even seam as I am working. A free motion darning foot. For all of you quilters, that is really nice um, foot. I have a blind hem foot, an over edge foot to mimic the look of surging, a rolled hem foot for working with all of those fine fabrics to get that professional quality finish. My zipper foot, of course, I use this all the time, and this one you may or may not know what this one is. This is a button sewing foot. So it allows you to sew your buttons on by machine. And of course, my embroidery foot for doing embroidery work on the machine. You're gonna notice that we have a beautiful selection of decorative stitches as well as an alphabet. And just like the rest of the Janome machines in the lineup, navigating in this machine is really easy, quick, and is gonna look very familiar to you. So as I'm looking at the screen, I have my option for my utility stitches, my decorative stitches, my lettering functions, and sewing applications as well. Most people don't expect to find that sewing applications feature at this price point of a machine, and it really makes that a wonderful machine. So I am going to place that fabric underneath the foot and Janome is really known for that superior feed system and the 9850 is no different in that and the superior feed system has to do with that seven piece feed dog system and how beautifully it feeds that fabric let me show you exactly what that will do for you I am going to sew a little bit forward, go back. Now I went back and forth. You noticed I wasn't holding that fabric at all. And look at how beautifully straight that stitch kept. So this is what I mean by that superior feed system. It really gives you that confidence and that ability to take your sewing to that next step level. Now let's say I wanted to go into different type of stitches and maybe do some applique. So with a touch of a button and I let the machine know I want to go into my decorative functions, I touch that applique and I very quickly have gone into that mode. Now again, with applique, a lot of people really do not like doing this because of all the stopping and fussing that you need to do. But watch how easily I am going to do those curves. So look at how nicely, with an ease of just a fingertip, I'm able to move that fabric and you are going to be amazed at how beautiful that curve is. And that again is with our superior feed system that Janome is really known for. 
So I really do like how easily I'm able to maneuver and adjust and really personalize all my stitches. So I went into my adjustments and I could make this stitch wider and right on the screen I'm seeing exactly the change that I'm making. And I want to make that bite or this stitch length much longer. So I'm getting a really good view of exactly what that stitch will look like. And a fingertip is all you need. With that stop start button, I press and hold to go really nice and slow to give me complete control. And now I know for people that do applique, turning that corner, it's like you bite your fingernails, hoping that you don't get that backward step and makes your stitch look unattractive. I have a button for that. That little B right on top allows me to touch that and it brings me to the beginning of the stitch pattern. So that when I continue with that applique stitch, I will always get that perfect outer corner. And look at that beautiful corner. I have no bite that is coming completely out. I am showing you this is the default setting Look how big of a change I was able to make with that. The Memory Craft 9850 has a maximum nine millimeter stitch width, which means that I have 91 needle positions. I'm gonna bring this back to a straight stitch and I am going to move that needle position. So as you notice, that needle is going to move all the way over to the left, and I could move it all the way over to the right. And I have 91 ticks or needle position. And when I do those one at a time, you barely notice that needle moving. So I'm going to do that quickly for you. So you really see that movement of the needle. And that 91 needle positions gives me the ability to get to precisely where I need to sew and just gives me that quality that I want to expect from that Janome machine. Now I mentioned some 9 millimeter stitching, so let me show you some of the decorative stitches that are available. And I really love some of the stitches that are available on here. So not only do I have this one page, but I am able to go over to that second page as well. And I'm going to go to that play function. So look at that. I have that beautiful dress form on here that I love. So I'm going to lower my foot. And I'm going to show you how easily I could do just one. I am going to touch that locking stitch. And that will complete that one dress form pattern. And I'm going to cut my thread with that scissor button. And look at how beautiful that dress form is. I happen to really love this stitch. But now let's say I'm doing some crafting or sewing and I don't want to sew just one decorative stitch. I want to do a combination. So when I touch that combination button, I want to do my needle and thread, my spool of thread, and my scissor. And I'm going to tell the machine when I do those three stitches, I want to stop. So I've even programmed in my locking stitch. So let's see how pretty that stitch is out. So right now my screen is showing me when it's going from one stitch into another. 
so I know exactly what my machine is doing. These are absolutely beautiful. So there is my needle and thread, my spool of thread, and my scissor. Those nine millimeter decorative stitches are just absolutely stunning. They're beautiful, they're large. You could really see the detail to those. And again, look at how beautifully straight those stitched. I wasn't even holding on to that. And I mentioned lettering. There are three lettering fonts, and I'm going to go into one of those, which is the block lettering. And I am going to clear what I already have on my screen, and I am going to do a couple of letters for you. When you see the lettering function in that 9 millimeter stitch whip, you're going to be really impressed and realize you need to upgrade your machine. large and clear and beautiful that lettering is. Such a big difference from the older machines that had either a five millimeter stitch width or a seven millimeter stitch width. So I just love how beautiful and it really makes it all of my projects that I make look so much more impressive and brings them to that next level. I absolutely love that it does that. Now I spoke about sewing applications and for my for my uh, Janome users that already have machines with this function, you're going to be really surprised and I love the fact that this machine has these functions and that I'm able to bring these functions and this capability to a portable machine that I take to classes with me. So what sewing applications is, if you're not familiar with it, sewing applications is my sewing teacher or my sewing mentor in the machine. It gives me different sewing and uh, quilting functions and it optimizes all of those functions. So here I have seaming, over edge, blind hem, roll tab, zipper, and gathering. And there's more. There's one of two pages. On page two are more of my quilting type functions. I have basting, button sewing, tacking, applique, patchwork, and quilting for my free motion. So when I saw these, I often thought seaming. What could Janome optimize and make easier for me in seaming? And let me show you. Of course, it's going to give me my stitch for woven and knit. And what I love about this, it doesn't only suggest the stitch for you, it actually opens and activates. So here I am in my stretch knit, which is that lightning bolt type of stitch, but it also optimizes by the weight of the knit. Am I sewing a light weight, a medium weight, or a heavy weight? And what it does is it adjusts the length, the width, and the tension to give me the most optimal results possible. And it does that automatically. So when I pick the weight that I am doing, my stitch is picture perfect for that function that I've chosen. But I also have that adjust key so I could fine tune it even more. And I also wanted to show you curve and top stitching. Now these may look like garment sewing functions, but these are regular sewing functions that are used whether you're crafting, whether you're quilting. So on a curve, we know that when you do that curve stitching, you need to make that stitch length much shorter so that when you turn that curve inside out, it gives you a beautiful shape curve. 
as opposed to when you're top stitching, it makes that stitch length much longer because you're going over different weights and different amounts of fabric as you're top stitching. So I love that this takes all the thought and the worry out of a lot of sewing projects. I don't need to find my instruction book to look up what setting do I need to do that. I love that it's here for me. And in applique, I really love, it has my buttonhole or applique stitches, but it also has my zigzag stitches. And you'll notice that there's two of them. One has an M, one has an R, and that is my starting needle position. So right now on a, I am on the selection of M for middle, and when I switch to the R, my needle defaults to that right needle position. Now when you do applique and you select a zigzag, most people do a satin stitch and you have to make the changes to the width and to the length. Not when you go into sewing applications. This is all done for you. And I'm also going to show you that beautiful feeding system again. Look at how effortlessly I am able to curve and move that fabric. So with the sewing applications, I not only have that perfect zigzag and that beautiful control, but it was already adjusted for me to become a satin stitch. And I really love that about this machine. So again, with the Memorycraft 9850, you're able to go from sewing to crafting to quilting to home deck and upholstery work all in this one magnificent machine. It gives it to you all. So this is really, um, I call it the little sister to our top of the line machine because it's offering you a lot of what those high-end machines have in a smaller size, a smaller footprint, and of course, that ability to go to embroidery and be able to do that. And again, when I go to embroidery on my machine, it is an easy process. And I am going to come around back to switch out that foot. And it is so easy to go from sewing into embroidery with ease and just very few steps. You'll notice the only thing I really needed was to loosen the screw to remove one foot and put on another. And I just tightened up that screw to bring me into that. I'm going to touch my toggle button. And this icon is, it looks like two machines. It's going from my sewing machine into my embroidery machine. It is reminding me that my arm is not open. Do I still want to go to embroidery mode? Yes, I do. So here in the embroidery mode, look at how easily I was able to switch from one to another. And that embroidery arm being in the back of the machine opens up so easily and so quickly. And I'm going to put that hoop onto the machine. It just goes right in, locks in place very easily, very quickly that I'm able to go from one to another. I'm going to repeat the size hoops again, and I'm going to show you those on the screen. So my smaller of the two hoops that are included with the machine is five and a half by five and a half inches. My larger hoop of the two 
is 6.7 by 7.9 inches. And there is a third hoop, which is optional and does not come with the machine. And that is a free arm hoop. That is the 3.9 by 1.6 size hoop. And when I am working in my embroidery, I have my beautiful built-in designs that I can see two ways. I could see them by category or folder of designs, or I could look by size. So I know that I'm working with something that is in that five and a half inch hoop size. This will shuffle all of my designs around and show me just the ones that fit this particular hoop. And I will be able to scroll through and see all of those beautiful designs. Or I can go by category or style of design. So I have favorite, geometric, pantry, monochrome, and it lets me go through all of these functions. So I love how quick and easy I am able to switch out from one to another. And this is one of the built-in designs from this machine. So you will notice that you get that beautiful Janome quality that you have come to become accustomed to. Now this is something I usually don't show, but I want to show you how beautifully the back of the design looks. On a lot of embroidery machines, you get knots and a mess and just a bunch of ugliness. And I love that Janome gives me that beautiful result, not only on the front, but on the back of that embroidery. And in my embroidery functions, I have a lot of editing capability as well. So the functions that you would expect, I am able to reduce, enlarge, I'm able to rotate, copy and paste, so I have a lot of functions within the machine. I don't think you'll be disappointed in the 9850 if you choose to add this to your sewing room and make it part of your sewing studio at home. Make sure to reach out and call the dealership for pricing and availability and to put your name on the Janome 9850. Again, my name was Alba. I want to thank you so much for joining me in the Janome Sewing Studio. And I will be seeing you soon and showing you some other wonderful Janome products. Thank you.